let's go look at the next question um, that we do have. It says to us here, basketball is a team sport in which any member of the team can score points in a match. You can see already there, that information is not helping you with anything. So not really something to focus on. In table one, below the manager of a basketball team recorded the number of points scored by each member of the team. So we already know that A, B, C, D, E, F, G represents members of a team, okay? So it's recorded points and it's each member in the team. We've got our first tournament, we've got our second tournament. So we've got the different players and if you look at the second tournament, the difference then becomes that the alphabets are then jumbled up, okay? It's not the same again in terms of the alphabets. Let's go look at that. It says to us, um, below the manager of the basketball team recorded the number of points scored by each member of the team in the last two tournaments played. So, first tournament, second tournament. We've got all the points there. First thing to look for, are these ordered? Okay? First tournament, they're not ordered. Second tournament, they are ordered. So, anything can happen. We haven't been asked to order them yet, so don't run and order them. 1.1.1. Express the probability as a decimal of randomly selecting a member of the team who scored between 50 and 80 points in the second tournament. So in this particular case, we are being asked like what we did before with time. Now we're being asked to calculate probability. It's important for you to know what probability is. I always say that probability is a fraction. <laughs> it's Whatever small thing they being, we are being asked over the total, okay? So in this particular case, they're saying, um, what is the probability of randomly selecting um, a player between 50 and 80? That's the small part on top. And then below is going to be the total number um, of players that we've got there. Let's go see there how many players got between 50 and 80 in the second tournament. This is the second tournament. Let's go look for 50 between, means anything in between. 50, oh, I had said these, between 50 and 80. That's one, two, three, four. And because they said 80, this 81 does not count. We don't use this 81. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Use the pencil whenever you're doing this so that it, it doesn't mess up, okay? So it's four, but it's four out of a total of how many? How many do we have in total? We've got all the way from A up to O. If you're not sure, let's go count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Am I sure? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Perfect. So automatically, I know this total here is my denominator and this that I've counted here is my numerator. So that's 4 out of 15. That's 1.1.1. 1 .1. 4 out of 15. What is um, the thing we need to look out for here? It says that our answer needs to be represented as a decimal. So that's where this three marks is going to be coming from. It means I would get a mark for this, but I would also get a mark for representing it um, as a decimal. So let's now go and use our calculator to find the decimal. How would you do that? Four divided by 15. There it's giving it to us as a fraction again, SD. So it would give us 0 0.266666 recurring um, all the way up to 7. I would write that number out in whole first and then I would take the number um, and then I would round off. So in this particular case, I'm going to round it off to two decimal places. We were not told 
but I'm going to round it off to two decimal places, making it 0 0.27. 0 0.27. So I've represented that as a decimal. Perfect. 1.1.2 says to us, calculate as a percentage. It means that my answer needs to be a percentage. Of the total number of team players, the number of players whose points decreased from the first to the second tournament. So we want to know the percentage, again, percentage and probability are very similar to each other. What makes them similar? It's the fraction in probability. It's the fraction, you leave it like that. If it's also the decimal, SD or whatever the case is. But whenever we ask now for a percentage, again, it's going to be that small portion over the portion we are being asked for. In this particular case, the portion that we are being asked for um, is, it says to us, total number of team players, the number of players whose points decreased, so points decreased from the first to the second tournaments. So we want to know out of the total out of the total number. So we know the total number is 15 in the first and the second tournament, but we want to know um, the number that decreased. Let's go and see. It's a lot of work, but it is three marks. Don't be scared to do such things thinking, oh my goodness, so much work. It's going to be work. Okay, let's look at A. A remained the same, so A didn't decrease. B, B decreased. So we're counting B as one already. I'm just going to write one over there. Stunning. C, let's go look at C. C also decreased. So C counts as the second one that decreased. D, D also decreased because it went from 32 to 20. E, let's look at E. E went from 42 to 10. So E also decreased. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of numbers. F. F went from 28 to 29. It increased. So we don't count F at all. G went from 43 to 33. So we count G because it decreased. H went from 34 to 40. It increased. We don't count it. I from 46 um, to 41. So we do add that onto our list. J went from 62 to 79. 62 to 79, that was an increase. We do not count that. K, let's look at K. K increased. It went from 56 to 63. We don't count that. L, L also increased from 30 to 70. M, M went from 38 um, all the way to 50. It increased. N, N went from 44 um, to 100. It increased. Do you see what I'm doing here? O went from 43 um, to 81. It also increased. Beautiful, stunning. It all increased um, and decreased. So now we look at that. So it's going to be six. I said to you, it's going to be, um, it's, a, it's a fraction. So it's the smaller part that we are being asked of. So it's 60, um, six over the total, which is 15. We know there's 15 here because we counted that in the previous. So it's going to be six over 15. Six players out of 15 players decreased. But we are asked as a percentage. Whenever you ask for something as a percentage, all you need to do is multiply it by 100. Whenever you hear the word percentage, you multiply it by 100. 15. There we go. Multiply by 100. 40% of the players. 40 percent we are being asked as a percentage 1.2.3 i love such questions because they're so straightforward use the points scored by the team in the first tournament so we know everything that we are doing now is from the first tournament use the points scored um, by the team in the first tournament and determine the median the modal and the interquartile range Whenever we are finding the median, I said to you guys, the median is the most 
middle mark. Whenever we are finding the most middle mark, what do we do? We need to make sure um, that our points are ordered. And if our points are ordered, it means that it's ascending. Ascending is going up. Descending is going down. D down. Ascending going up. So in this particular case, let's go see. They're asking for tournament A. So it means that everything um, that we are doing now is from the first tournament. Let's go see if the marks have been ordered for us. Tournament A, they are not ordered. And because they're not ordered, we need to go and order them ourselves. The most, um, the most minimum or the smallest mark here to me looks like 27. So let me go and order it. So 27 followed by 28. So 27, 28, and then it's going to be followed by 32, 32 followed by 34. Give yourself that room to make those mistakes. 34 followed by... Okay, so because we are given so many numbers, I'm going to leave you with that particular advice in terms of this one. Because we are given um, so many numbers. Okay, so what we can do now is calculate the modal because the modal is not going to give us such a huge problem as the median. So all you needed to do with the median, put them in order and find the most middle mark. If it is an even number, it's going to be two numbers that you're adding together like I did in the first question. Adding them together, dividing them by two. Um, if it's an odd number of numbers, then it's going to be just the middle mark. Always make sure the numbers are balancing on both sides. Modal. Modal is just a fancy term for mode. What is the mode? It's bringing us back to all the lingo. It's bringing us back to everything that we need to know. Lingo... <laughs> Modal, sorry, is the same as mode. Mode is the most occurring number. Most occurring number is a number that occurs more than once. Okay, so let's go see which number then is occurring more than once in the first tournament. So if I look at all these numbers properly, 27 doesn't occur more than once, 41 doesn't occur more than once, 53, 32, 42, 28, 43, 34, 46, 62, 56, 30, 38, 44, and 43. Stunning. Got it. I almost thought there was nothing um, there for us. 43 over there and 43 over there. So 43 is our modal number. It's the number that occurs um, the most. Okay, so 1.2.4 is 43. It occurs more than once. Stunning. Let's look at 1.2.5. Oh, there isn't a 1.2.5. It's actually um, interquartile range. We are being asked for the interquartile range. Interquartile range is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile and in this particular case in order for you to find that you would need to arrange your data in a way where you would find q1 and q3 and then subtract those two from each other that's how you would find your interquartile range the next question says to us 1.1.4 the box and whisker plots below represent the points scored by individual players in the two tournaments. So we're comparing again here. We've got tournament one, tournament two, and we're comparing the two box and whiskers with each other. We can already see here, it says to us, use the interquartile range and the maximum and minimum values to compare the performance of these two teams. I love this. So you can see that with this team, I mean, with, with the second tournament, the minimum scored was 10. But with the second one, 
the minimum scored was 27. So this is actually 27 over here. Do you see what I'm doing? I went and I used that data against um, my box and whiskers. So that's also something you could do to cheat a bit, okay? And then to find your median. Here, the median is 40. And then here you would have to go and find um, your Q2, your median. It's the median that we were supposed to find in the first tournament. Compare those two medians with each other. So in the first tournament, I can already tell that the minimum was better than the minimum in the second tournament. However, in the second tournament, look at that nice maximum um, over there. Okay, we've got 100 um, going on over there and we've got 60 going on over there. So you need to look at such things whenever you are comparing. Another beautiful thing that you can compare, you can calculate the range of the data. So comparing the range of the data, in this particular case, you would say 10, sorry, you'd say 100 minus 10, which would give you 90, so that the range there is 90. And the range up here would then be 60 minus 27. And what is the significance of all of this? If the one range, the one thing you need to know about ranges is that when one range is bigger than another, it, there's also something significant about that. So if the range is smaller, there's also something significant about that. Do look that up. Look it up in as many question papers. Look it up in as many places. Go to YouTube, go to wherever. Look that up and look at the significance um, and it will help you a lot.